you guys want to come in? <laughs> come on in. Welcome to my humble abode. Welcome to the Biz Nasties. Finnegan's smorgasbord. This is where Mr. Finnegan eats, and you guys will get to meet him later. So why don't you come on over? We put it to the perfect height for him. We get the mat underneath Mr. Finnegan. There he goes. And obviously, I can't forget to show you guys. I mean, if you don't show the fridge and then where the magic happens, it's kind of like null and void. It's not even a Cribs episode. So this is what we got stocked up for the full week here for the opening this season. Oh! You gotta keep it healthy. Healthy snacks, fruits and veggies, uh, obviously the greens, so it'll help our bowels and we're gonna shit a lot easier. It's important to keep everything flowing. Another big thing that helps it out, I've said the fun fact on the podcast before, I'm the Bill Nye of the TikTok generation. Your body is over 60% water. You need to consume at least a gallon a day. Maybe for someone my size, if you don't like drinking too much because you're on the toilet all day pissing, and yes, I pee sitting down because you get rid of more of it, but that's a conversation for another day. You need good water. So more healthy stuff, maybe some hummus dips in there, you know, just get the real, get the carrots popping and uh, we're doing our thing. I'm a big coconut water guy too. That goes in the morning protein shake. I call it the Biz Nasty Pro Protein Shake. So this thing has been a game changer. I feel like I'm a barista. We, we usually double this it up. This is our secret, yeah. That's how we do it. And that's when I get twitching on the podcast. Oh, you know what we should show off? Oh, the wonderful, wonderful, thoughtful gift I got for my girlfriend for Christmas. <laughs> Sh shun knives? Shun? Shun knives? Look at these things. Wow! It's like a fucking lightsaber. Look how sharp that thing is. Look at the detail. These are, hey, wet. These are not the ones that they do on the NHL network, okay? You can shove that theory up your hoop. I actually uh, cut up Mr. Finnegan's food with <laughs> his, uh, his filet mignon. I gotta show you guys his coffee. coffee. And there it is. Perfection. Let's uh, shift it around here to the spank bank. <laughs> This is uh, this is the beat off layer, as they say. <laughs> it's not the beat off layer, but it is a computer for show because you guys know I don't do my podcast right here. This is probably where I spend most of my time in this general area. Whether I'm smoking cannabis on the porch or smoking cannabis on the couch and watching whatever it is she's whipped up on Netflix. So it's a great couch. And when we talk about making it a home, the greenery. This would not be here if it was just me, my girlfriend went and got it out, and it just adds so much life to the room, and I'm so thankful for it. Quick plug the old lady, not a big deal. This was a big hit at Christmas for Mr. Finnegan. We got the squeaky toy mid-range, right, right by the jugular. He's a killer. <laughs> this was a gift from the, the Pyatts for Christmas. This is the famous pretzel. But actually, you know what? I'd say he usually goes back to not only does it act as a tug of war toy, the ultimate one. And it's a beautiful color. It's actually peanut butter flavored. So they've coated the, the meshing. So this is like this, he brings me this every morning. And that's when I'm like, I am the tug master. You guys know the video, you can whip it up. I'm the tug master. <laughs> this is what I do. I go like this. I put whatever I have here. Oh, and I do this. I just do a lot of thinking. Does it get much better than getting to call games with Bob Heathouse? Sit in your humble abode in Scottsdale, Arizona for most of the year and just enjoy a nice brew. I'll get back to this later, but for right now, let's see the rest of the house. I gotta show you guys where all the magic happens, where all the blunders on the podcast, where I take my notes, my mathematical notes, and then I butcher them. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. That's where the magic happens. <laughs> Michael Scott special right there. <laughs> uh, this is where I apply my Roman swipes all over, and I think that maybe, just maybe, this one time I'll get past five minutes, and the cardio shuts down and I go back to being a two pump chump right here. This is where it all happens, folks. Usually I tend to put my head towards this end of the bed, which is uh, where I'm getting moist, the mo most of the moisture. 
up into my, my nose, my nasal cavity, because I have a hard time sleeping because I get stuffed up in the desert here. So this is like the DeLorean. <laughs> Absolutely no TV in the bedroom. We are here to sleep. I mean, no TV watching in the bedroom in my house. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Because sometimes, you know, I get drifting off into a very deep sleep, sometimes I wet the bed. I'm not ashamed to admit it, okay? So I had them give me two, two, not one, two pee pads. And I still have the extra one here. It's still, it's still waiting on deck. This will save your bacon, especially when you're in a relationship, guys. It's tough breaking the news to uh, your old lady that uh, it's probably, I'd say, a once every couple months thing. It's just, I'm getting into those deep sleeps, guys, and it doesn't happen very often. I'm not ashamed to admit it. This is a key piece to the household, a robe. You always need a good robe for the mornings. You gotta have the boom box in the corner for some tunes in the morning, maybe while you're getting ready before dinner. Uh, once again, another hidden door here with the mirror on it. The medicine cabinet. So the OCD kind of kicks in again. It's a little bit, maybe a little sloppy right now because I'm overflow. You always gotta have the backup deodorants. Okay, you always gotta have a lot of backups just in case you're going on the road, you don't have time. And yeah, is it weird? Is it weird to have that many de deodorants? Maybe. But I like to get ahead of things. Let's uh, let's head it over to where where the actually the real magic happens, which is spit and chicklets man cave over here. Oh, the throne. Oh. That's where the pink Whitney lies. The Budweiser red lamp. This is my 200 NHL game puck. Sure enough, it was in Pittsburgh against the Penguins where it all began. So the first and 200 game with the Pittsburgh Penguins Association attached to it. So that was cool. These are rollers. You know, you played a long time. My muscles get sore all the time. They're always tense and tight and out of line. And we, I've already mentioned the eight ACLs I fucking tore. So I roll out. This is my uh, little rollout station. I got balls that I stick in my ass. I know that came off a little weird. This is what you roll out on on the ground. This is the real deal. And you get right in there on the fascia. That's like the, the, the layer of, of thing before the muscle. That's like the smartest thing I've, I think I've ever been able to absorb from one of these uh, therapists. And that's why I got the old Pink Whitney sex toy to roll out on. You know, it's nothing, it's nothing super crazy, but uh, I love it. I'm comfortable here, and I can even show you, you know, some of the some of the very important things that have accumulated over the years, like my terrible suits. These are old. They're not terrible. They're just old. This is my last season playing. This is when I tore both my ACLs my last year with the Ontario Rain. Well, there it is. Game worn. Check them out. They're on eBay. <laughs> if you want to zoom in on that, the greatest Arizona Coyote of all time. Shane Doan. This was a gift given to me and I was very shocked when I found out that I would be one of the people on the ice when they retired Shane Doan's, Shane Doan's jersey number in the rafters at Gila River Arena. And I, they gave me this beautiful Kachina jersey. They put my name on it, courtesy of the tie down. This was probably the tie down that I forgot to put on in that game in playoffs against the Blackhawks. That might have been a little troll by them. It's probably in my opinion, not because they stroked me checks, but the number one reverse retro jersey in the National Hockey League. It's, it's absolutely stunning. You have a 360 Coyotes on the back. You got the little geckos on the shoulders, the desert. What we've all been waiting for, the finale. Oh, me start feeling again. Oh, me start feeling again. I love you so. Oh. Please don't bark at my friends, they are very nice people. Nice? Just give them a little hello, say hello, people. <laughs> Mr. Finn again, oh Mr. Finn. That's actually pretty good. Oh, he's starting to go here. He doesn't like new people. He needs, there's a feeling out process and we will get to that this week. This is, uh, these are my degrees by the way, check them out. Don't get too close, I don't want you to see the name on them. <laughs> This is where I do all my uh, Bitcoin buying and stock planning. No, this is this is the brains of the operations room where she does all of her thinking, whatever she does. And that's it. That's our house. 
And that's Mr. Finnegan scared shitless of who these strangers are in his house. Checkouts fans, thank you very much for coming over and saying hi and joining us for an episode of Chicklets Cribs. I'm gonna pass the puck over to RA for the next one. Oh yeah, <laughs> doodle! <laughs>